Hey everybody, I am Blind Ryan and son of a bitch, there it is. The fucking thing didn't come up right away. Anyway, and uh, we're going to be having a swatch at low at Magic Age. I'd like to thank the dev for sending me a key. And uh, basically this is a roguelike based heavily on D&D 3.5 edition and they paid the artist for home to get some of his art. So I've got to admire the uh, audacity of it. But anyway, as you can see, there is UI scaling all the way up to 500%. Uh, you got a brightness, so I should probably note all this stuff down. Crap! No, it did that. Oh well. Uh, UI scaling to 500%. Um, I will have things to bitch about. I've seen enough of the videos that I know for a fact I'll have something to bitch about. But, before we get into that... Oh, there it is. Music on in background. Um, battle, bunch of... There, adventure, autosave, miscellaneous, enter arena on startup, last adventure on startup, reload ammunition. Auto reload ammunition of shooters. It backpacks contain ammunition. That sounds good. Tutorials, do not enable map edge scrolling. Uh, D20 dice rolling simulation algorithm. This is interesting. So, as you can see, it has a lot of different um, dice rolling algorithms. I really like that. I thought that was really slick. But that's nothing I can really put on. Uh, help system is very detailed, too. Frequently asked questions. The abilities and feats, how much the maximum level. Uh, the skill is right click to replace an ad. Yeah, it's nothing there. Why not running, fainting, aiding others, and so on? The game will be much more interesting. Yes, it will be. Now, the main focus now is simple and straightforward combat. We're working on a complicated action series like Combat Maneuver System Pathfinder. Other options have been added great, gradually. Uh, <laughs> Fucking TRPG forum. <laughs> That's fucking great. Differences with OGL. The actual con content of the game deviates from the standard 3.5 rules in many ways. These are the major differences. Many feats and spells were removed. Some were modified, some were added. A unified form of attack versus defense. Same BAB growth for all classes, and BAB doesn't grant extra attacks. Added some feats that grant extra attacks. All creatures die at zero. Max range has been much reduced. Power attack and charge are passive. No need to choose or perform. Large creatures do not gain any special reach, only occupy one square. More classes and other content are under development and improving. So basically, they want to make a big fucking D&D world, and I am more than fine with this. So we're going to do adventure. We're gonna do new adventure. I'm gonna keep it on classic because, well, truth told, I'm afraid, like, I don't want to just immediately die. <laughs> it's got a big world building thing you can do. And then it's got these uh, house rules, which I have turned all of them on except for removing level adjustment and race uh, caps. So I'll just turn all these on real quick. Because why the fuck not? Mostly I just really like this. Humans get ability scores, and all the other ones get more score. I just thought that's interesting. Anyway, we've already got our six, so we'll go me. Um, my wife, Eric, our roommate. Him as a friend of ours. And rampaging boar is just an angry barbarian. Him Angor. Why? How do I add? Character deets. Uh, modify new. And there we go. Outlanders. We should be good to go. Slowly open your eyes. Dizziness still clouding your mind. I've had this since last night, but I haven't actually played it yet. So I'm very interested in how this will turn out. Young woman sits beside you, leaning down with concern, pain over her face. God has blessed you. You're finally awake. How do you feel? Do you remember what happened? Ah, that's the light. 
feel dizzy. Who are you? Did you save me? I am Eileen. I need pass out on the beach. You're an adventurer, but not from this land. Are you here alone, or were you with companions? Came with several adventurers. Did you see them? Only found you. My companion Todd has been searching for others, but his yeti has uncovered no clues. Let's make haste. Uh, better prepare for a fight should you wish to shake your companions. Guess I'll go at once. Something else I should figure out. We? Oh, uh, companions, Todd and I. In the Adventurers Guild, welcome adventurers from the Eastern Mainland. Perhaps your memory is not yet recovered. We should explain your invitation. What is this place? Uh, nearest beach to Port Redcon. Not far from here, we should have landed. Put aside further questions. Let's go at once. Wake up on a strange beach. Uh, destination. Cool. But if all the world is paused, everything including your party is at rest. And within any reachable location, time starts to pass, world goes around. Okay, cool. Quest. Hey, that's me! Well, we gotta go here, so... Searching along the coastline, you aren't in obvious signs of a struggle. Human size, but some smaller. Obtained items, potion, potion, light crossbow, and bolts. Okay, WSD lets you move. What's this? Yep. Okay, what does she have? A heavy crossbow. More bolts. 1d8, 1d10. Okay. Now, interestingly, it didn't let me fucking didn't let me change any of my stuff. Let's see here. Abilities, special abilities, traits, conditions, equipment, details, skills. Yeah, it didn't let me it didn't let me futz with any of my skills. That's weird. And I don't know how to open this. It won't let me. Yeah, skill points on assigned. There's no way for me to assign my skill points. Weird. Drag items here to discard. Is there any way to... Uh... Oh, good! It is clicked. It. it is click clicked. It's not click drag. Plus, no click drag. Okay. Then I guess that's weapon work out. But how do you web how do you level up? Put my modify stance and we're gonna work there. So let's see here. Net, goods, estimation, prep spells, skills. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Wait, will it let me? Okay, yeah, it will let me do that. Okay, cool. Hmm. Intimidate, bluff, and some motive. Wisdom, charisma, charisma. Hmm. I feel like I should fuck with this later. Let's just do the tutorial for right now. And goblins. Spears over the shoulder. Or a sail over his shoulders and impale the ground in front of you. What? Who are you? Cut the bullshit, new bud. You take the little one. <laughs> Apparently. Fuck me. Combat is turn-based. Everybody acts in turn in a regular cycle. Each round activity begins with the character in the highest initiation. And then, yeah, okay. Two actions per turn. Move and attack. Move and then attack. If you are using yes. Alright. They do let us zoom, which is good. Available actions and options. What's this guy? Aww. Uh, Fuck over 
here. In addition, clerics and wizards can cast spells. Some powerful spells can only be cast without moving. So interestingly, they let you right click and just do whatever. You can just, you know. And you've got options. Show all these menus and shit. No, no, no. What is this? Turn. Bless. Heal. Okay. Let's get her over here. So, something that I'm noticing very immediately is that these colors are very hard to see. So, we'll bring you over here. And... Let's see if we can hide the wife behind. Range attack, delay, defend, use item, skill action, miscellaneous action, and all action. Shift. Ooh. All right. Now we can move forward with him and move her here and defend. Move over here and fire and defend. Move you up. Hey, critical hit. Nice. We defeated them. Loot. A dart. 60 per PC, plus gold. Battle stat, battle log. Nice. Okay. Minus. A grid. Um, let me see here. How would I word this? Um, the... Grid layout needs an additional means of display. For example, an optional icon showing where I need to move for a gradient or pattern on the tiles. Because in the uh, color blind people will not be able to see where they can move easily, nor will they be able to which character they are playing at. means of identifying friend foe. Color blind people. Uh, color blind slash low vision people. Uh, pulsing icon. Alternate. Alternate outline. Any options? Okay. okay. There's that. Damn goblins uh, must be the companion Todd. I didn't mention a person of foul little beast. So of course, the result of the search, your companions have been taken away by a band of goblins. Unfortunately, the bulk of them broke camp by the time I picked up. Oh, killed two, not three of them. The rest are no doubt with your friends. Are my companions? Are they hurt? Sorry, I couldn't see them clearly. They were still on their feet, though, so I doubt that any of them were wounded. What do we do now? Move towards Spike's fortress immediately. We're lucky we reach it in time to save your, pan your, your companions. Fine, let's go. Let's 
Let's go up here. What's the name describes? You can easily be identified. However, there's no time to enjoy the scenery. You find those damn goblins outside the building. They mill about a strange statue preparing something without entering the fortress. I've been coming from the opinions practically unguarded. Here's a chance. If not, you look at each other and pull out your weapons. A little better here, but still. Charge! Attack of opportunity. Oh, miss. Alright, they're dead. Short sword and throwing hammer. I didn't know they had throwing hammers. Courage and persistence pays off. Your companions are rescued with minimal casualties. Let them recuperate in nearby towns will be good as new. Arlene suggests you head to Ludd. Ludd is an outpost manned by the Adventurers Guild. Ideal place to rest and resupply. Arlene will take care of getting you registered with the Adventurers Guild so you may follow up with them. Although you and your companions may have a lot of questions, what happened to your ship, you don't have time to dwell on them. One adventurer's shipwrecks on a strange continent would find heating hands. You wake up on a strange beach. It turns out uh, there's many problems to be solved. Your commands have been taken away by a band of goblins. You must head to their lair of spikes where it's possible. Belt of great of giant strength. Nice. And an invitation letter. One of the invitations sent by the Adventurers Guild. Decide to prank from Lud. The are getting checked in. Lud. There we go. Oh shit, scale mail. The uh, mace. A heavy mace? Do I even have that training? How do you open this fucking menu? Oh, spell penetration. Scales. Simple, martial, shield, light. Oh, martial proficiency pick. Settings, okay, skills. from wounds concentration yeah we're not gonna fuck with that that'll take way too long let's see here gotta find blood oh it's over there what's this no one lives here, and yet you detect a note of danger in the air. Danger, of course, implies opportunity. Are you going to take the pledge, plunge, or make a careful exit? Search. A swinging block trap. Gonna make a search. As expected, you find something behind the trap. We got gold, we got supplies, we got a long spear. Nice.
friend Irene, you decided to take a break. Bud, we're getting checked. Combat prowess and adequate supplies are essential for a qualified adventure party. No matter what's in front of you. Own 10. We should party this summer. Specialties dry meat. Oh, cool. Or cost. A blacksmith. Ooh, a pick! Use that. Give him the money. We do have the money. Now I have a pick. Wife needs a bow. Derek has a heavy crossbow. Brandon has a great sword. <laughs> Him as a fucking mall. Great axe. Cool. Cool. Yeah, lapis. Bolts. God knows we can always use more bolts. Boots do not need sling bullets. I mean, I might as well pick up arrows too. I don't think I'll need any of the other shit. Store. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Specialties. Flies. Oh, okay. Yeah, max that out. Efficient combat process. Yeah, there we go. Report to duty in Napal. Adventures Guild Headquarters. Nathal. We will buy this. There. We now have dried meat. Delivery goods. Temporary message. Oh, no. is Ale Village. I think we'll just yeet. Bud. Apparently we're going this way. Ah, we're getting engaged. There I am. He killed him. Angor boy. Eric. Missile. Life. There's 
me. Making a melee attack, you get a flanking bonus if your opponent is threatened by a character or creature friendly to you on the opposite border or corner. Bonk, fuck you. Attacks of opportunity sometimes combat and melee lets their guard down. Threaten system. You threaten all squares in which you're making a melee attack. Opportunity. Wooden crate, a potion of mage armor, a dwarven war axe. Nice. Gold pieces of sai, linen, and leather. Voice. Doing well for ourselves. Very much reminiscent of uh, Battle Brothers, actually. Helene has prepared the necessary procedures. Yes, he did. From the Adventures Guild. Much for solving this crisis. An abnormally large number of monsters struck the continent. Beasts must be eradicated. And new quests are rules as consistently dispatch parties on some routine missions to test their metal. Own 3,000 gold, own 5, whatever that is. Renown, reputation, five groups of monsters. Able device can be a crucial skill. Yeah, recommended high intelligent party members learn this skill. Learn it is able device skill. Yes, sir. So that's basically this game. Um They haven't done all the classes yet. And they keep adding more and more things. So let me go to the main menu, and let's check out the arena. Got our guys. I don't know who these people are. Substitute. Oh. Great character and party. Party. Oh! Oh! Okay. There we go, we'll do core. Player multiplying modes of this first. Okay. Then we do our usual stuff. So, yeah, there's that. Pick your boys. There we go. Welcome to the arena. Newcomer, the quickest way to get started is to use the default party. Time, create some characters, blah blah blah. Fuck. Pop goblins and the goblin cutthroats average level 2, total quantity 6. Hmm. And then she's got crossbow. 
What the fuck is this? Oh. Code. And then Brandon, and then me. I still don't have a pick. I got a heavy mace, man. Our sword, body, backpack, skills, champion privileges, orange box. Oops. Cool. Well, let's level them up. Eh, fuck it. It's gonna take too long. Just need to dive right in. Okay, so we've already done this. Where are we? Okay. Last spell. Turns it. Brandon's turn. Angor. Oh, there, moving. Those forty, thirty-five, fifty. Oh, there he is. Rage. Fly into a screaming blood frenzy. Angor. Yes. And we got him. No, 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 no. Five. Uh oh. Angor boys. Yeah, we're getting fucked. Bought the guy who hasn't played, uh... Bought the guy who hasn't played, um... This game, um, these, these kinds of games in a long ass time. Boom, that's one dead. 55, 65, 60.
Oh, whoops. See, there you go. I thought that was... <laughs> yeah, we're fucked. <laughs> Charge. You can you can definitely tell that my um, my whole playing you know first impressions thing probably not a good idea for this kind of game. I'm gonna have to come back to it later after I figured it out a bit better. But what can you do? Defeated. And how? <laughs> ah, so that's Low Magic Age. As you can tell, I suck ass at it. But that's to be expected for a newbie. Um, it's been a long time since I played fifth or third edition. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the UI could use some help with identification, but it does allow for, for scaling. Honest to God. It could be a lot. It could be in a lot worse of a place. But um, anyway, I have been Blind Ryan. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time.